Hello hard hats and welcome back to Construction Simulator. Today we are starting our little exploration into the Spaceport expansion. Um, I had a hard time finding this and uh, the reason why is because it's not on, it's a whole new map on its own. Uh, start game, uh, yeah we'll take our character with us. Uh, start your own game, uh, create a new company, and then uh, yeah Spaceport is over here. Um, I, I was, go of course, we're, we've been on the Sunny Haven USA map. Um, I did not know the spaceport was its own map. Uh, yeah, this scenario is aimed at advanced players. If you are new to the construction simulator, play the European or American scenario first. There you will find a tutorial, yada, yada, yada. I right, want to jump right on in. Um, we'll use that as our logo. Uh, I think we're, we got we got to keep the company name. All right, nailed it. Oh, why do accept? Uh, okay, and start a single player, and there we go. So I, I have no idea what to expect when you jump in here. Uh, I don't know if I get to bring my money on over with us. Is that a thing? I have no. I hope we can bring the money over that way. I don't know if I get all my equipment that I have on the USA map. Have no idea. Uh, the Rodriguez Company is a major investment firm based in the region. It is known for investing in many different industries and for its willingness to embrace new opportunities. Some time ago, the company announced plans to fund the construction of a spaceport. Even though construction should have started a few months ago, you were contracted by a representative of the company. She found you while looking for a skilled contractor and would like to meet you to discuss details for a number of commissions. Uh, first thing I want to do though is camera first person. There we go. Um, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at the map. Okay, base camp is that is that our is that our camp camp? I have no idea. Uh, undiscovered location, undiscovered location. Well, what do we got for jobs here? Uh, estimated earnings, half a million. Uh, vehicle fleet. Okay, so we don't get any of our equipment. That's fine, but we do get to start with a flatbed crane. Um, upgrade levels. All right, so we don't get any of... Yeah, so it's basically like starting anew, I, I assume. Um... I mean, my level continues over, but we don't have the money either. All right, so let's jump into here. All right, so we got to go down and construct the base camp. I guess that's our first job, right? So I haven't been on the map or anything, of course, uh, so I'm experiencing it with you as we go along. Should I fast travel? Uh, it's normally what I do, but since it's a new map, we're going to go ahead and just have a look around. In the future, will we fast travel? <laughs> More than likely, we will. I probably should double check. Do I get to keep all my skills as well? I assume I do because we're level 23. Yeah, we're fine. We're all good. We're perfectly fine. Definitely some interesting uh, scenery that we got here. What did I say? Is that traffic up ahead? And yes, it is traffic up ahead. All right, so we're in town now. I assume this is the gate to get on in. You gonna let me in or? Oh, you're going to just let me on in. How nice of you. Company premises discovered. Speak with a financial expert. Ah. 
I'm glad you could come on such short notice. My name is Maria Lucia Rodriguez from the Rodriguez Company. As you probably know, we are trying to build a spaceport on this site, but unfortunately our previous contractor backed out. As a result, we're a little behind schedule, so I'm sure you'll understand that our investors are not exactly happy at the moment. People I know tell me you are highly reliable. Please help me bring some order into all this chaos. I don't know if I'm reliable, but sure. Well, our first job's done. How about that? Oh, there's like a little, lo another logo, but what, what do they call those? Because we were collecting them on the USA map. Uh, which were the hammers, but now it looks like a little, like, spaceship. Uh, notice, upgrade level S reached. New company expansions are available. Do you want to open the expansion? Uh, yeah, we'll open it on up. Um, Alright, so we got to own three machines, nine, lo nine locations, and three contracts. All right, let's come over to here and we will grab. Uh, you can now create multiplayer games, campaign contracts. Do you want to open the online menu? No, we are good. All right, so one of 20 collectibles found. All right. So here we are. There's where the fork left would be. So we're up to $600,000, which seems like a lot, but of course it is not. Uh, but let me go ahead. I want to check on... Uh, my profile. Do we get to bring all the skills? Okay, so we got all the skills that we had before. So that's that's kind of good. I thought that would be the case. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Okay, we need, we need to do some stuff here. Uh, what do we got here? Company premises, fast travel, flatbed crane, and a pickup truck. Is that ours? I think so. All right, uh, let's go ahead and... Campaign, science and technologies... Go big or go home. The research department needs a new building for their experiments, but so far the size of the radio telescope has blocked all construction attempts. Um, let's see, what job? Uh, medium, so yeah, we want to be on medium scope and like 1.9 million. I'll have to lease a lot of equipment, but gotta start bringing in the bucks, right? All right, so where we got to go? We got to go over there. So let's... Uh, I do got money to teleport. So let's hop into here. Is it really... Where, where, where am I exactly going? I think it's here. There we go. I mean, starting right off with a campaign job may not be the wisest thing with the amount of money that we have. But as long as I can get some jobs little by little done, we'll be fine. Hello. You're from the new construction company, aren't you? I'm George, the head of research. Unfortunately, Lucy's quite occupied at the moment, so I'm taking over some of her duties. We Who's... are currently in need of a new facility for our experiments, but Who's Lucy? the components for our radio telescope are quite large, and apparently not all companies are capable of transporting them, but I hope you can manage. Lucy tells me you have a glowing reputation, so this should be easy for you. Just do me a favor and let me know if you want to quit. We can't use any more problems right now. Does anyone else want to smack that guy? <laughs> I would kind of like to. Oh no, we gotta start off with the drilling. Oh, uh, that was uh, that's not been good for us. Uh, the drilling part. Um, I would hate to lease all that equipment and then not get it done because then I'm leasing for something I won't get paid for because I gotta skip it. Why does it have to start with the drilling? Well, maybe they fixed it. Maybe, he says. Uh, well, we're only going to find out by doing it one way and one way only. Uh, okay, so where are... Viewing area. Undiscovered location. Undiscovered location. Undiscovered location. 
So I may have to travel around to find... Well, there's a warehouse. I'm probably going to have to drive around to actually find the stores. Um, let me go ahead and enter into our pickup truck that apparently we have now. What the heck was that, man? I have no idea what that was. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. All right, so if I just go kind of out straight ahead. Let's have a drive around, shall we? We got our first building right over here. Building material dealer discovered. All right. Oh yeah, I should be looking for the little space rockets too, I suppose. So I don't know if I'll get much work done this episode. I gotta go around and discover everything so I know where the stores are and such. Watch out for poles and, and steel beams. Okay, so building yard is discovered. A whole bunch of stuff down here. Okay, so there's a sawmill. Thought I saw one of the spaceships that we have to collect. Prefab location. Steel trade. And there we go, vehicle dealer discovered. Uh, have I got everything as I drive over on their flower bed? Uh, let's see, I got a few more places to discover, which is down here and one over there. All right, so I don't think it'll take me too long to get to these places. I'm actually liking the look of the map a lot better than the USA map. I don't think I've ever, really ever been on the um, the European map. Right, down this way we go. And the map seems a little bit more compact. It's not like the USA map where it's pretty expansive. Expansive? <laughs> That's a word. Alright, so the gravel pit. Okay, and then what we got? This one more location to discover here. Uh, if I go back out, if I go right, right, left. Whoops, wait a minute. Number two. All right, so I said, right.
take a little shortcut. Uh, yeah, I forgot where I was going now. Oh, straight ahead. All right, so what is over here? Is this for like fuel or something? Gas station. Well, all right then. Just as I thought. All right, let's jump on out. So I think I discovered everything I needed to on the map itself. Probably a lot to come on this series here, or on this map here anyways. Uh, so the store. Um, let's go ahead and enter. All right, so we need a drill. And I kind of forgot what that is under. It's going to be kind of weird. I'm so used to this going on in and just grabbing whatever we needed. I think that was an excavator. Oh, there we go. All right. So how much to rent the beast? Uh, is it 5,000? Do you want to rent this machine for 5,000 per day? Um, I'm selecting yes. Why is that on such a delay? Kind of weird. That's like on a little bit of delay there. All right, let's go ahead and enter. And do the whole fast travel thing. All right, let's see if we can get started on our first job. We will slowly buy things once we have the means, but um, let's see how this pans out because uh, last time I tried to do some drilling, it didn't go too well. It got like up to 75% of the job done. It would not go any further. Probably the first thing I should buy for the company, but maybe I'll just lease it until I actually get enough money. I don't want to start buying things and find out I'll be short on money. Uh, is the crane. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and... Change mode. Lower this down. Don't think I'm quite where I need to be. up probably got to clean that off right and then pilot right back up where you just drill that's always <laughs> that's always good There we go. Let's try and lift it back up. and It's taking a second. It's like everything's a little bit delayed right now. Kind of weird. And 
Let me uh, shake that off here. Uh, let me get out of this for just for a second. Uh, you do not have a suitable crane. You can rent or buy one from the dealer. Uh, let's see. Rent is like 5000 Does it matter which one? That one's only 2000 to rent. I wonder if this would be suitable enough for us. You know, I think we'll make money just fine. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll rent this one right here. If I hit the right button, that'd be good. Uh, we'll rent this one right here, I think. There we go. Set it up. Perfect. Alrighty, let's go ahead and we'll grab the first piece and put it on in and see if we can get this down to where it needs to be. We take a few weeks off from a game. It's bad enough when I was uh, to do just one episode a week. <laughs> and a week in between to take some moment, but take a few weeks off. Alright, we'll grab that one there. And now we'll come over here and grab... I don't think it wants me to grab this one, does it? No, I need to grab... Kind of inside myself now. That's the one I want to grab. It's got the yellow stripe on it, so that means that's got to go next. Let's move the crane aside here. If I can find my way around, that'd be great. Am I too close? Trying to get this lined up just good. I'm not good at this driller. I don't use it enough, as you probably already know. And no, I can't pivot it side to side, which is weird. Because I'm not I'm not hitting that, so why can't that this pivot? Oh, there we go. Uh, it was green there for a second. Raise that up. Also, I can't pivot that unless that's all the way up. Okay, let's hope we can get that on down in.
and I'm not sure it is. Kind of like I was having the same problem at the airport. Now I'm trying to get this out, and now it's just keep on spinning on its own. Let me get out of that, get back in. All right, you're gonna start on your own. Is it trying to still push it down further? Reset it. All right, we reset it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be down all the way. So let's try to get this connected again and see if we can get it the rest of the way. the way we're going to have to start by not be able to get this all the way in. Let me just back up a little bit and let's see if I can attach another pipe to the top. Hopefully this will allow me to attach to that pipe there. And the answer is no, because that's not down all the way. Well, um... Yeah, here we go again with these things. As, when I did it on the airport job not long ago, a few people commented saying, yeah, this has been a problem, uh, you know, that few have faced. So obviously we don't know how to do it, or <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Don't know what to say. Sure, the drills all the way up. Then lower it down. Should be able to connect. Let's see if I can get this one all the way. Okay, that one went all the way. And the bar is not as filled as the previous pipe. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll bring this one over. Okay, let's see if I can get the rest of it in. Oh yeah, I can't get in from this side. Let's go to the other side. Uh, probably should shake off the dirt that's on there. At least I remember how to do that. Let me get that all the way in.
Okay, what I'm doing is I'm putting down the drill to help get out some of the dirt. We can see we're at 67, 68. Seventy five percent done. Is the drill coming back out? I don't know. Okay, now I'm trying to shake off the dirt. Nope, let's get it lined up a little bit better than that. Not sure if we're drilling down more or not. Well, as much as I am trying <laughs> out of this drilling process, um, we got the other one where we got to put in the second pipe, but this one here, I can't get it down far enough to get the ghost image to allow me to put the second pipe in. Um, so once again, I am getting kind of flustered with the drilling process. I'm probably missing something for sure, just don't know what. So yeah, we got that one in, and now I fell into the hole. Uh, reset. All right, where am I now? Okay, so we're, we're over here. Yeah, don't fall into the hole. Uh, but yeah, as for the drilling, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not understanding completely what we need to do. Uh, let's go ahead, we're going to take a coffee break, and we're going to do it until morning, because it is nighttime. And we are going to go ahead and uh, we got to excavate the construction pit. So I think a wheel loader would be best. That's what I usually use. Don't know exactly where we got to get it on out. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's see. Vehicle shop is over here. And let's go ahead and enter. And look at that. We got a wheel loader right here. Let's go ahead and rent that one. There we go. Now, it doesn't, I don't have that hesitation I was having before earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and enter this. So, I do believe I'm getting paid for some of the job that I'm getting done, which is going to be good for me. Because that drilling step, I may have to skip. So let's see. Here. Oh, still in the camera angle here, so that's not good. Let me get my camera there. Get a full bucket. And we're just going to place it somewhere. Is it going to disappear out here, or is it? What's it going to do? Is it going to pile up? All right, so it disappears. Uh, excavate construction pit. So that was 0% done. This may not be the biggest bucket in the world. And so far, I haven't done 1% of the job. Alright, so where are you wanting me to get the dirt out of here? Alright, so there's 1%, it says. 
I, I gotta double check on this jump. I am on media mode. Okay, that, that's where we usually are at. So this might be a big job to get on done. Uh, now I'm stuck. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> So if this is 1% per bucket, then this is going to take me a while, a long while. I'm still sitting at 1%. If this is the case, uh, this may be all I get done today. <laughs> this is only a 1%. Oh, what are we stuck on here? You, you really couldn't get over that? Yeah, this 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 may take me a moment here. Uh, let me just double check on the store. So this is what we got here. Um, let's go ahead and rent. that wheel loader because I think that's a bigger bucket it looks like a bigger bucket it may not be let's see if it is here because if that's only one or two percent that I got done so far this is going to take a while Burning a little bit of money here and there, but once I get the first job done, then... Okay, it, it looks like the same bucket just about. It may hold a little bit more. Okay, so this will get 2% uh, of the Excavate Construction Pit done. This kind of reminds me of when I was doing the underground parking lot. And it took me forever to get that emptied on L. But right now, we're just going to dump it to the side. I don't care too much about bringing the gravel, dirt, or whatever it is that we're excavating on here. It kind of looks like red clay. I could probably get a little bit of money for it. Holy smokes, this is going to take a while. So, are these jobs going to be that much more tougher than what's on the USA and European map? It might be. So like a medium job, which is what we always did on that map there, compared to what a medium job is going to be like here. It's going to take a little bit longer to do. 
But of course, I had to start with the drilling process, which I don't think I've had luck on yet. Now, this is the third job I've done it on. Airport being the other one. I think that was the control tower. And I want to say the harbor campaign. Possibly uh, something to do with the docks, maybe. It's been a while since we did that job, and I had a hard time getting that one done as well. But from the looks of things... At the rate that I'm going here to get this dirt out, it looks like about two or three loads to get 1% done. It's going to be a hot minute. Uh, what I need to do, though, is... I need to t return... Uh... X to return that one. Yes. Because I am I am leasing this equipment, so if I forget that it's there, and just keep... Because this may take me a day or two to get this cleared on out, then I'd be paying fees on it. I don't, don't want to be doing that. I did see that Track IR is actually available for Construction Simulator. I guess they implemented that a while ago. But of course, that's only going to affect if you're driving first person, which I don't usually do. wrong. Well, I am getting paid little by little, I do believe, for getting jobs done. Even though we haven't completed the whole stage. Because we had 600,000 and I've leased a good amount of stuff. And I think it was like 5,000 a piece I was leasing some of the stuff at. So if that's the case, I should be a lot lower than what we're at. really hate to skip the whole step because of the drilling. But I think I may be doing some work in between episodes to see if I can get that done. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the second one that we got down quite a ways. Let me jump out of that. Uh, the second one we got uh, the two uh, pipes in. But now I can't drill further than that. And now this one here, I can't seem to get lower than that. And now I fell into this hole because why not? Well, after fiddling around with that for about 10 minutes, um, <laughs> I finally got it. Uh, let's come over to the crane here and pick up the other piece here. Now, usually, on uh, when we're on the other map, advancing through the days didn't really matter that much at all to me because uh, who cared? Uh, but now that I'm renting equipment and it's going to cost me per day to use some of this stuff, uh, the bills are going to add up. So, advancing through the days is going to kind of suck a little bit. All right, now let's see if I can... Uh, See how I can do on this one here. This time I'm going to do it until it's all the way in. Connect. Push it on down. 
and already we're at 75% right away so now I just got to drill the last 25% out Now what you guys get to see is about two or three minutes of video and then 20 minutes of me trying to fiddle around with this thing. Trying to get it to reverse on up would be nice. Alright, now I'm not even detaching from the pipe. Let me reset it down here. the drill still lowering is the last 25% just filling it up with concrete is that where maybe that's what I'm screwing up here no drilling 75% done Gravel de delivery, we haven't done that, done that, and construction pit, excavation, I've done 5% of that. Um, this whole step will pay me $844,700 if I can complete it, uh, but that's the tricky part, right, is completing it. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure how to drill more of this. How about if I lower the drill first? As far as it goes. Getting above the 75%. Well, if anyone knows exactly what uh, I'm kind of doing wrong here, I've tried it many different ways and it doesn't seem to be working either way. So let me know, but at least we got, we got 75% on both of them now. So maybe if I just fill around a little bit more. I wonder if I reset the whole vehicle, if that would help me on out. I don't think so, but you just never know. Okay, now I will lower down the drill itself. See if I can get any dirt out of this thing. Still going down. And it looks like right there I bottomed out. So I'm not sure exactly uh, how much more I need to drill out. Well, I'm going to reset this and then... Gonna get this right off the site for now. Just to get it out of the way, we'll kind of reset it in some sense. And um, I'll fiddle with it more off camera. But yeah, I only got 5% of excavating the dirt. That's going to take me forever. So the jobs do seem to be a little bit more difficult to start with. It, but of course, of all things, 
I gotta start off with uh, with this wonderful piece of equipment, which I don't think I've had success with as of yet. Uh, but we're 75% done. But I would like to look down there to see exactly what why I can't drill down any further. Um, but yeah, we're on the new map. We're gonna be building some spaceport stuff. I, I hope I hope it doesn't take me too long to empty out this dirt, but. Uh, I'm only 5% done here, but maybe I'll get lucky at some point and, and the percentage will pick up somehow. I doubt it. But I would say kind of a, for me, a crappy start on getting the research center up and going. We're only 3% done. 3%. Uh, this job could be a long process. Maybe, uh, who knows, maybe I, I may need to restart and go on easy but then again, I feel like I don't want that to be too easy as well. We've been doing normally fine on the other maps. Uh, but normal here seems to be just a little bit more difficult. Uh, not the drilling part. I just I've never gotten that down pat. But if I got to remove that much dirt, that may take me a while. So who knows? I may reset and start over. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, my first look at the Spaceport expansion has been kind of a rough one. But that's what we're going to end it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. <laughs> I do appreciate you watching, as always. I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.